Since we've made the decision to give up on Back to Eden gardening, we've been hard at work. Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. This is Kevin and Sarah. Well, as we uh, let you guys know in a uh, recent video, uh, which if you haven't seen, was right up there, uh, we have decided that Back to Eden gardening was just not for us here in Missouri. We loved it in Arizona, but in Missouri, it just wasn't working for us. So we're going to a new plan, and this year uh, we decided to, uh, first of all, till uh, our garden area, and now today we're going to start putting down our uh, woven uh, ground cover, uh, which will mark all of the rows in the garden. You can see behind me, that uh, we got the garden all tilled and uh, um, the overall size of the garden is now uh, 50 feet by 75 feet. What we've already done is we have marked out the side, two sides of our current garden with um, a rope on the bottom and now we're going to go through and measure out and mark all of the rows so that we can get those going. Uh, the front half of our garden, the rows are going to be five feet apart or about five feet apart. And then on the back half of the garden, the rows will be two and a half feet apart. Um, and then as we plant, we'll determine, you know, which kinds of plants are going to need more space like zucchini and uh, tomatoes, okra, those kinds of things. Um, and which plants we can plant closer together like uh, the brassicas and uh, I don't know some other things that we have planned for the garden so that's the first thing that we're going to be working on today is marking out the rows um, and then hopefully uh, we'll have a chance before it gets dark and before dinner to start rolling out that woven uh, uh, ground cover fabric we're pretty excited to see how that's going to look and how it's going to work yeah we've never used that before uh, so uh, this is all new to us uh, this this style of gardening is going to be brand new to us this year uh, but we are excited uh, before we put down the ground cover, uh, we're going to be putting down uh, rabbit manure um, in the rows uh, and then cover that up with the ground cover. Well, we're also going to be sprinkling azomite, uh, which is a, a mineral supplement uh, throughout the entire garden too, before we put down the, the fabric. Right. So everything we're going to be doing is still uh, organic. Um, we're not, you know, we're not giving up on, on organic gardening. <laughs> so, uh, the only difference is that instead of using mulch now, we're going to be using the ground cover. Yeah. So we're going to get started. All right, so we're using a, a composted horse manure. Uh, we have a pile of that. We're gonna put that down as much as we have, uh, however many rows we can get done with that. And then we're gonna use rabbit manure as well. Um, and now Sarah is sprinkling down uh, azomite, uh, which is uh, trace minerals. Uh, this will just kind of re-energize the soil. Uh, this, uh, this area is actually where the original owner of this property had his garden for many, many years. Now last year, uh, we did have a great uh, uh, garden in this area. Uh, so uh, we're, we do know that the soil is, uh, is fairly productive. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, adding some trace minerals back in isn't going to hurt. Uh, and it would, you know, can definitely be a benefit. Uh, if you haven't seen our gardening playlist from last summer, uh, I'll put a link to it up here. Uh, you can see we, uh, we had a great year last year. We grew a lot of food, uh, uh, well over a thousand pounds of tomatoes, as well as all the other vegetables that we needed for the summer, and uh, most of what we needed for the winter as well uh, that we canned. So uh, we're excited. We're hoping this year is going to be even better. Uh, we added about another uh, 10 feet to the garden. Uh, which is about another 500 square feet of growing space. So uh, we have this garden, uh, which again is 50 by 75 feet, and we have nine raised bed gardens as well. So uh, um, every year we're going to grow a little more, and uh, I think this year is going to be awesome. <laughs> Wow, 
Well, we're too anxious to see what this uh, ground fabric is gonna look like, how it's gonna lay down and how it's gonna work and stuff. So uh, we've taken care of prepping, um, looks like three rows with manure. I've spread azomite over the entire garden. Um, and it's also kind of getting close to the time where I need to get in the house and start making dinner. So we're gonna go ahead and just roll out uh, maybe one or two, maybe all three of these rows with the, uh, the mesh ground cover fabric to see what it looks like. So uh, we're just gonna get going on that and take you guys along with us. The rolls of uh, the, the ground cover fabric that we uh, were able to get are three feet wide, uh, but they come in rolls of 300 feet each. Uh, so I think we bought four rolls. Four, oh, we bought four rolls uh, that should take care of the entire garden. We got the first three rows uh, put down. Uh, I think they look pretty awesome. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many staples you're supposed to put in each one to hold them down or anything like that. Uh, we put about 16 staples in each one. Uh, if we have extras when we're all done, we'll come back and put more. Uh, but I think I think it's going to be a pretty good system. Uh, there's enough space in between that I think you know we'll have a good walkway between rows and things like that. Uh, the ducks are having a great time. I don't know if you guys can see them back there, but ever since I tilled this area up, uh, we have a big problem here with Japanese beetles. If you didn't see the video I did last summer where we set out Japanese beetle traps, I'll put a, a, a link up here, but we're catching thousands of them a day. Well, their, their grubs live down in the soil, and ever since I tilled this up, the ducks have just been going crazy eating all of those Japanese beetle uh, grubs. Uh, so I'm hoping maybe it'll make a dent in them. I don't know. Probably not because there's so many. But hey, you can hope. So again, I think it looks pretty awesome. Yep. And, uh, you know, we uh, spent the morning actually uh, butchering the first half of the first set of our chickens. Uh, so this is the second project we worked on for the day and we're pretty exhausted. And like I said, it's getting to evening. I need to go uh, fix dinner for the family. So we're going to wrap it up and uh, we promise to bring you back along when we do extra work or more work on the garden. Um, if you are not a subscriber to our channel yet, right now is a perfect time to hit the subscribe button below. Um, if you guys will share this video with your family and friends, it's a sure way to get the word out about our channel. We'd appreciate that. Uh, until next time, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.